Good morning. Good morning. We are back as promised. We are doing the second in a three part series for the IOD paint inlays basics. So last live last Tuesday, we actually did, we showed the arrangement today. We are going to show the application. However, we decided because it's a different piece, we are actually going to show the application again so that when this lives on YouTube, people who weren't here in the live will get to see that part too. But we won't dive as deep and as detailed, uh, but we'll definitely show you what we're doing. So good morning. Thank good you morning. so much oh, for joining morning, us. Good morning, Good morning, Hello, Robin. Royce. Oh, yeah, it is beautiful here. Beautiful, but brisk and chilly in it is. Northern California. And we're in our garage, so we're a little chilly, but that's yes. okay. We've got our coffee. I'm double fisting it. I've got coffee and water. Is that okay that that's frozen like that? It doesn't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think. Sorry about that. I think we're good. Yeah. Okay. Just one, one stream is frozen. All right. Um. Okay. Yes. Okay. So what's wrong? Having trouble connecting. Yes. Okay. okay. We're having a little trouble with our Wi Fi, so it might be bumpy. Um, we'll pause when we see there being trouble with our Wi Fi, and hopefully, there won't be too much. Hello, everybody coming yes, in. Hello, thank you. We've got a good what a crowd. beautiful name. <laughs> Cami, Joy, welcome. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Yes. Okay. This is so wonderful. It's, um, it's a little sketch, but at least this gap. isn't too. Um, So I like showing the back. I yeah. thought that was really helpful in the um, live last time. Absolutely. Show how it's arranged on the back. Exactly. Oh, no, sound. no sound. Oh, well, if the. Okay, we'll try this. We'll try this for a while. We changed our network. Um, okay, give it a second. Okay, now. Okay. Okay. Hopefully this will work. We changed networks. If it doesn't, we may have to postpone because it's important you guys see what we're doing. <laughs> um, details, right? Details. Yes. So again, last live we I showed believe. the arrangement but we showed it with the queen of the nile and we thought if we're doing a different inlay we kind of want to show this part again yeah so that you can see the entire project from beginning to end yes and the piece we have behind us which you can't see yet can they no they can see no, the not top yet. of it not yet but it's a really sweet buffet it's um, gonna a be waterfall gorgeous style. Yes, um, it's kind of Art Deco. Yes, um, and it has beautiful clean lines, so it's going to be perfect for so the Gregory's. Coated mm -hmm. two coats in a soft white, mm -hmm. um, and we went ahead yesterday and kind of planned out how the pieces would lay mm -hmm. on the and how we would configure it, and it just so happens that it works fabulously to divide these sheets so that we take and isolate this strip here, which will fit in this top drawer section across here. And then the this section and 
these with the exclusion of that part will all fit in the bottom portion. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. Hi, Barbara. I should start trimming, <laughs> huh? Yeah, so okay. Jesse's gonna, gonna start sit. trimming and we're just gonna kind of bump through this, but as we think of tips and tricks and things that we wanna talk about, uh, we will definitely share that. However, if you wanna deep dive into the arrangement, make sure to catch our last week's live, which was part one in arrangement. That goes into detail in different ways to arrange and how you can um, really work with the inlays to be perfect for your piece. Yes. And now there is a little breeze, so I'm going to try to oh, kind of yeah. keep my um, hand on you have these. a little bit of blockage here. Yeah, oh, it's not too bad. So, they can see so we're going to take these first four sheets and we're going to trim them. Mm -hmm. And let's put... Um, can you put the brush on those so that it weights them down? Okay, fabulous. Now, the first thing we're going to do is trim the margins off of these. So we went into this last week, but the paint inlays come with a necessary margin around the edges that is important that you cut off because it will make it more difficult to line up your seams appropriately if you don't. Correct. So Josie's going to go ahead actually... and trim those this even. Just the end or the beginning? Okay, here we go. There's mm -hmm. a little bow in this. What's the trick to keep the mermaid arms and wrists from not oh. being flimsy while wet? The clay, the molds. Uh, no real okay. trick to it. They're just thin, and so you just have to be careful. But if it is clay, so if they do come off, you can gently um, press them together or even apply them separately in separate pieces because once it's dry, you want and on a stable surface um so glue it down wet and then um glue them neck you know so that it looks seamless and then mm -hmm. you're good to go so here's a challenge that is a great thing to cover since Ooh, we, we're have doing, a tip. we have a tip <laughs> have your when you're doing your trimming and using your square or your straight edge and your rotary make sure you are on a flat surface this plastic table underneath the drop cloth and the and our mat has, some has bow so that means it's gapping oh, right yeah. through here yeah and i have to press it down mm -hmm. because yeah. i usually rely on the press the the contact here to them. keep this oh yeah great idea because you can see it right here like i have to press down to make full contact and that's kind of how you keep the paper in pl the inlay in place so see how there's a gap because it's the table's not perfectly flat mm -hmm. and it is the table because i use this square and it doesn't it's not bowed so, so she's pressing down so i'm pressing you can see down she lifts up yes so that's important get a nice straight edge there. yes something satisfying about using a um, rotary cutter and mat it's going to go ahead and do and when you get um, kind of a you've done a few and you are used to the trimming and the using and seaming them you can do um, a couple at a time you know line because these are tr translucent so you can actually in fact, I'll just do that. Um, you know, your your expectation is you have a little margin for error because they're not going to be um, perfect. perfect. And that's okay. By yes. the time it's all said and done, you're going to be yes. good. So you're going to. And some of the, the nature of the production on these is that some of the margins may be a little narrower than others by like, you know, half a millimeter maybe. So there we go. And I can. So Barbara Nielsen is asking specifically can I use fusion paint with your inlays? So let's just talk a little bit about paint in general. 
um, because every paint is going to be slightly different. It's going to have different ingredients in the paint or additives. Um, and so it really is about you want to find a paint with, is it no polymers or just? Well, would you say that the, the quick answer is yes, you can. However, it's going to affect your open time mm -hmm. before you take it out because and what Sally was starting to um, go into is the polymers work against that open time. If you use a straight up um, mineral or chalk style paint that has does not have a significant amount of polymers, um, then you could leave it overnight. And with most now again every formula is different but with the ones that we've done you know developed and played with you can do it the next day mm -hmm. and it will release um as usual um that's not going to be as much so with paints that have polymers significant amount of polymers in them so but polymers job is to grip Right. So. so one thing you can do if you have any questions about the paint that you're using is do a test. Um, take a little piece of your inlay and keep some inlay scraps handy for this. Yes. Um, and you can do a test board with your, that particular paint and see um, because that, like Josie said, that grippage and amount of polymer is going to be different um, depending on the piece of paint. Exactly. In fact, you can use... <laughs> Uh, clear, um, clear top coats as well, but you have to keep in mind that open time is very, very different. You do not um, want to let it get bone dry because that is, and the amount of pigment that is left for that second or third use is going to, in most cases, be decreased if you're using paints that have a significant amount of polymers or top coats, mm -hmm. which are almost all polymer. She can get really nerdy if we let her keep going. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's Should something. Should I go get the paint ready for the piece? Oh yeah, yeah, great idea. There we go. I think we are trimmed and ready for the top ones. Okay, and hey sis, can you hand me my drink right there? I, I'm thirsty. Okay, now we are also going to separate the two lines. Here. And we are going to take these two apart because remember we are um, using them separately. Now let me see if I can do that with one cut or if I need to do it with the scissors. I feel like right through here. I think, let's see. Okay, it just works just above this. And I think then we clear that top section. Half of me saying do them separately because you are going to cut something off, but <laughs> I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. Oh, oh I should say if you are on Facebook, make sure to follow and put on your notifications so that you don't miss any of our lives. And if you're on YouTube, yeah, make sure it. to subscribe, like, and subscribe. Okay. I always forget to mention that. Okay. I was, the rim of this was hitting the top of the, there we go. Thing. So, okay. Now, don't be set. nervous. Grambo about um, using the queen. <laughs> she is not intimidating. Okay, she loves you. At the bottom. And she will work with you. So don't be nervous. Okay, and the so last 
first live Please. that we did actually show the arrangement of the queen. So if you didn't catch that, make sure you do. Yes. Oh, great. This works fabulous. And then Perfect. we have OR. And then we have... Nervous. Oh, this one goes down here. Here we go. Okay. Yep, yep. Goes like that. So, what's nice is we essentially can center this here and work outwards. Okay. If that, if that makes sense. So, you'll center it right between the door. Exactly. So, we can look at where the doors are. Now, I'm going to weight these down. I'm just feel like the wind's going to steal them from us. <laughs> um, yes. So you good? It's, is this correct? Yes. It's these yeah. two that are going to go in the center. Yes. And let me, Oh, one more oh. thing. Let's get that. Um, our, uh, it's not this. They are right over there. Oh, oh, right. right, right. Okay do this. Yes, right there. In fact, let me get something else to weight that down so that it is not There's a couple more weights. There we go. Here's some brushes. Okay. okay. So this would be our center. We've got drawers here. Oh, nice. You already changed the camera angle. One step ahead of me. I did that a long time ago, goofball. Okay. <laughs> it's the same camera angle. But I can, is that a good, that's probably a good angle. Huh? I think so. I was so. going to bring it down here. I mean, closer would be okay, even let better. Me, let me try, let me see what happens if we move closer. And since we're not trimming right now, oh, yeah, we, we could go to full that screen. Angle too. Yeah. yeah. We can have two cool angles. Mm hmm Okay. Okay. And then... And it just, just, in fact, there's a tiny, just a fragment that is going to be left off, but it's okay. I think it's totally, oops, that would totally work. Taking an eye on it, keeping an eye on it to see that you're not cattywampus. That's a good idea. Here. So center-wise, right here. In fact, let me make a little tiny mark. You're looking for a pencil? down for an emergency. Oh. And I think we Okay, we're back. <laughs> they make it way too easy for your phone to call emergency yeah, that's, services. Yes. So I just made a little center mark right here. Hold on. Uh oh yeah, you're good. I think we need to take them shot. <laughs> Oh, Erin has a pencil for you. Oh, I already used a pen. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I never Thank knew. Thank you, Erin. <laughs> okay, let's just do this. There we go. Oh, okay. So what's going on here? <laughs> I've got both angles. Oh, nice. So okay. We're like very cool. Can All right, those. so and if we, we can actually move the other one to be more. I'm all about the camera angles. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so this is going to be our first sheet, and we are looking the center about right here. Okay, so let's do one sheet at a time, and I am only going to do it. Well, let me move my but 
only going to do it on the drawer itself and not bring it down into this because the little tiny bit that would exceed the drawer we're going to forfeit to keep it clean if that makes sense where is that paint right there right here Ooh, that was dangerous i i know i'm not ha i don't have much space <laughs> to <laughs> maneuver maneuver here i've got, I've got joseph's place with cameras everywhere no, it's, uh, you're fine disconcerting <laughs> you're fine <laughs> you're fine <laughs> oh, okay, let's get a, oh, sis, do you want to mist those face down? Sure. And that's not always, it's not a necessary, that's an optional step. I like to do it to sometimes to just pre-expand those fibers and, um, are you doing both right now? So you want both misted? Um, what do you want to do? One is fine. Okay. What's yes, that? it pre expands the fibers and minimizes wrinkles. Sometimes you want you don't want to minimize the wrinkles depending on the project. Um, and sometimes it'll work both ways. Nice. Okay, here we go. Let's bring this onto our space. I'm going to prioritize the letter, the G, Let's get that in place over this little guy here. And I need to take it. Now I'm at a side angle because I will block the camera if I get straight on with it. So there's a little bit of you know, I can move the cameras. You do what you need to do. Okay. So where do you want? You want to be right in front. Okay. Well, no, no, is actually, a, I'm this fine. actually isn't the best angle. I'm anyway. fine right now. I just, so that's oh, okay. So now I'm just going to use my damp, this one anyway. damp shop cloth to just make sure I'm making good contact into our paint. Cause we are literally inlaying or embedding this special paint into our coat and I'm not gonna exceed that I'm just gonna get right up to there there that's gonna be really nice and now we need to take the next piece and actually no we're gonna work center out forgive me okay and we will take this one and dampen that again. Did you, oh, there we go. Just a little mist. Always do your misting pigment side down and um, grid, side grid side up. Side up. Exactly. And sometimes it's hard to tell. So just, <laughs> just take a <laughs> look. Sure that's an a, easy, take a moment. yes, that's an easy mistake to make. Now I yeah. am going to get right up to that side and you don't want to go too far over it um but right up to it if you do what you'll find is if you overlap it too much the paint will kind of protect that edge when you go to wet it and release it and it'll make it a little hard right at the edge for it to remove it's not a big deal you might get a little like you have to fuss a little bit with that little piece but it's not a big deal not a problem, <laughs> not a problem. Okay, let's take this half. And these are so much fun to work with you guys. Just so satisfying. The process is- It's tricky you trying just, to get this nice uh, close angle and not blocking the other camera. Yes. Just bring it up just a smidge. You'll you'll see our carrier material. It's so lovely and organic, but it also has some give and stretch to it as it, it almost feels like rice paper a little bit. Yeah. Where it has that consistency. Yes. It's really a pleasure to work with. It's um 
like we say, it's an, an applicable art medium. So what are you doing now? Now I'm making contact. I'm looking at my seam here and just smidging it over a little bit to really match up there and get it, whoops, get it inlaid. All right, I think we're good. Pull it a little bit this way. You can see, like I said, it has a little give, a little stretch so that you can kind of get a little bit of movement there after it's down even. Okay, lovely. Now let's do the two sides. I'm a little bit torn. I'm gonna figure this out on the fly on how I want to divide these last two pieces. I feel like I want to cut this here. Can they see? Yes. I feel like what I'm gonna do is, now if you look here, where this lands is on this, but this is a super easy division for this top strip, not necessarily for the bottom pieces. So I'm just going to divide this here and then we'll use annual over here. And we will bring this G will come up and onto here a little bit and that'll totally work. So You can see here, Josie has a, um, just a tray with some water and some shop towels handy and ready. Yes, yes. Doing a little miss. Just a bit. Just a smidge. Just a smidge. And here we go. Oh, that's a lot of pain. Get it nice and tight here so you can see that she's being very careful with that edge. Okay, and we are going to be up on here, so we'll need to bring a little bit here. Okay, I'm just going to go around this way. Okay. And get a different angle here. And let's bring this together. Let it, you want to see. Yes. How do you handle the seams? Now, I'm not pushing this too, too deeply in here. If we get a little bit of a ragged or um, irregular edge on this part here that's a little inset while we're applying it, that's okay. Okay, now let's go ahead and get that. Good. Yeah. Okay. Now let's look at. Okay, this will be perfect. And go ahead and decide do we want. So, this piece, because the two end pieces are kind of. Are kind of um, individual. You know, it's unto itself. You, we could have it here or we could bring it down here. Like we can put this anywhere. We could center it on here. We could bring it in here. What do I you like think? That. Right here? Mm -hmm. All right, then let's do it. Real 
one question. What happens if you accidentally paint on the inlay while trying to put one piece next to the other? Oh, that's a good question. What the, I'll repeat the oh, question. Oh, like the overlap? What happens if you accidentally get paint as you're lining them up, or I'm sorry, as you're painting for the next piece, if you accidentally get paint on the previous inlay? Yes, so uh, most of the time you will get a little bit of that, and it's okay. Okay, and in smaller and show less, but it you might what happens is the paint that's on that inlay when you go to um, when you dampen it when it's time to remove them the water doesn't get as um, penetrated in that little tiny bit so you might have to fuss and pull that off um, a little more carefully but it's not a big deal. <coughs> Okay, so let's just paint this whole section here. This is so satisfying. <laughs> I know, I love painting. It is therapeutic. It is. And where did we decide we want to go? Like Lower right here? Right. Yeah. Yes, okay, now let's use these grids to just kind of visually see how they line up. Oh, that looks pretty darn good. I think you. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, I think we're good. Yep. Now we can go to the other side. Okay, let me, do we want to, let's see. Oops. Sorry about all my sniffing, it's allergy season over here. Mm. <laughs> it's got your booty, booty. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Is that good? We have a better... Read, um, read on the yeah let's see well you can see it's the left side oh. there you go that's better okay now i'm getting a little heartburn <laughs> fyi <laughs> in case you are important for them to know so you're showing the middle but we're going to be working over here so you might want to just change your angle um because we're gonna be working right here true so maybe this needs to be over here still huh yeah okay oh dear <laughs> oh. okay <laughs> that's better that's there yeah okay and then i'll get some nice tight angles okay Very good. So this will go right here. Boom. And let's do a little spritz of that. In fact, let's do both of these. And get our paint up.
All right, let's get the other side. And it'll be right about there, I think, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. My hands are so painty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm so bad now. About real good clothes when I'm painting. We are right about. Let's see. We are about one. In, the bottom of these letters are about one inch above the edge of that door. So is that down just a smidge? I think. Are we? It's two, two grids down. So yeah, I think we're right in there. It doesn't have to be perfect. No, it doesn't at all. It wouldn't <laughs> be. But exactly. Just giving it the attention it deserves. <laughs> Sister banter. <laughs> you can. It's so funny because I feel like out we're opposites when it comes to our creative approach as we are to our life approach. Like I'm more of a perfectionist in life stuff, but creatively Josie's more into the details. Okay. All right. That is up and it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Fabulous. Okay. Now, are we going to do the whole application here? Um, I don't think so because we're already at 12 o'clock. So it's already been um, 30. And okay. I think that would take another 30 or it would. 20. And it's so repetitive. It's repetitive. So we will finish that off camera. And it will definitely be included here. We'll put this back. Um, let me just change this camera here. There we go. And it will definitely be, um, <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. Uh, so the, the whole thing will definitely be included in the YouTube video when we put everything, I'll, I'll film it for you guys, but the, the nature of the lives are we want to keep them um, doable. So we want to make sure that you guys are not, it's not dragging on. Yes. So we we'll video do that, that off camera. Yes. And, do that and it will be included in snippets as much as is necessary for the YouTube. As we take these lives and we edit them for YouTube, it just condenses everything down and gets rid of some of the dead time in the chatter. So make sure to look out for it on YouTube. It will be, um, it will live there long term. Okay, thank you so much for joining thank you, us, everybody. you guys. It's been amazing having you. It's so funny because when I'm actually talking to you guys, I want to look over at the comments. I know. I feel like that's you, but I remember I have to look at the camera. So, but have an awesome rest of your week. It's only Tuesday, so we've got yes. a lot of week left. And we will see you next week. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye.